Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and today we're back with another Honkai Star Rail video. We have an interesting one, as you saw on the thumbnail. I spent about 5,000 Singapore dollars, that's about 4,000 US dollars already, and this is what my account looks like. Uh, two months in, we just hit Trailblaze level 66. I think a lot of the money, I think like almost like 20%, maybe a thousand dollars or more, was spent on just purely refreshing energy, which is an absolutely ridiculous idea, and I don't think anyone should spend money refreshing energy. Uh, unless, of course, you have to because it's your job, like it's mine, to create content for the community as well. So I, before like Trailblaze level 65, I went all the way, max refreshing every single energy. That's like 5 to 6 pools a day. In 60 days, that's already 300 to 350 pools. There about, which, is me, which means it's like 2 limited characters guaranteed just purely burned off on fuel alone just to get to this point. Was it worth it? I think hell no. I'd rather that money rather than the levels. But in hindsight, I do need to create the content. I need more characters built as well. So the extra energy definitely helped. Other than that, where did I spend uh, some of the money for in, like the similar line for this energy? I buy a lot of this uh, contract shop here. These like fuels which are on a weekly basis. So I buy this every single day. So a bulk of it for like real fuel refills also comes from here. I max out the battle pass, I buy the most expensive one to just get that 5 extra fuel and also uh, get the more levels as well. Those That's really important. I buy out everything else which is like this is resource, this is resource as well, more resource here. And of course this one is just a lot of trace EXP, uh, trace materials which I don't have to farm so it saves me a lot of resources as well. The only one I don't buy is actually this one here which is absolute garbage in my opinion. 180 uh, worth of gems just for this mediocre stuff. I bought it in the start when I was like below level, Trailblaze level 30. That's when it was much more better. But now in terms of the conversion, it's kind of trash. So I skipped it from there on as well. And I don't think anyone should be buying any of these ever uh, unless you really need to for some reason and you are uh, you are already, for example, max refreshing on your account. Because if you look at the conversion here, it's never worth it to get most of this unless you are at least pushing to like 100 or 150 refreshes, then it makes sense to even consider this. So just in case some of you were ever looking at this and wondering when it's actually worth it. Uh, previously, this reset quite a few times. I bought out usually every single thing in the first few days. But now, as you can see, I'm running a little bit low. Uh, my spending has also slowly decreased as I, I slowly triggered off the energy burning on my account. I, would, I plan to only pick up like these three every month and maybe these two as well, the EXP as well as the credits. The rest of them I probably will be skipping as well. A lot of money was spent on this on the account and uh, some of you might be asking and wondering as well. I have already finished like my 300 pulls on the standard banner here, completed it as well. I had to roll a few times on the standard banner just to get that 300 so I could choose my character at the end. I have every single character in the game right now except Clara. So my choice was really Bronya or Clara. I chose Bronya because I felt that more people will be interested in Zilla and Bronya content. Uh, Clara, I have her on my sub account though, and she's relatively more independent and in her own niche. So I think it's, it, that was my like my decision, my compromise rather. Uh, other than that, I have most characters in the game. Uh, Japart here, uh, I had really bad luck or good luck. You could say either way. I have him at E2. Uh, this could either have been Bronya and Clara right here. So it is always the luck of the draw but better Japan than maybe some other characters that I hardly play on my account. So that is for the first part. I think like a lot of it was energy spending. Uh, I'm going to talk about like where the energy went right now before I talk about where the rest of the money went. Uh, most of the energy actually went uh, came from building characters. A lot of you know that I do a lot of these like where to spend energy guides on the channel already. And uh, for those of you who just want a quick recap, level 50 to 60 is like very efficient to level characters, which is why I just doubled down from 50 all the way to like 60, just leveling characters nonstop. I kept bringing them up because it's the most efficient period. And 60 to 65, uh, 60 to 65 as well, I didn't farm any relics as much. I just purely started leveling characters, ascending them, and farming tracers and, and that's what I focus on for like majority of my game. Only recently like 65 to 66 I've been grinding a lot more relics so I got my relic EXP up as well. Uh, I put out uh, of course an updated note as well on the channel of where to spend your energy. You guys can check that out as well. I talk about like the some mistakes that I felt that the, my approach of being min maxing in terms of getting the most extraction of value or fuel was it useful or was it not useful? I talked about it in another video on the channel as well. You guys can just check it out on any of those energy videos if you are interested as well. So that's pretty where, pretty much where most of my energy went. Uh, other than that, I think that I have quite a few relics at pretty high level. I just show you a quick snapshot here. Um, 
a lot of them are leveled up already. I have most of my characters uh, geared a little bit. I have quite a bit of gears stashed up as well. So this is like from 65 to 66, this is where most of my energy went. Uh, I just holding off a lot of them for now. I want to know more information about future characters that come into the game. Uh, other than that, I have quite a bit of light cones. Quite a few of them are already super in position 5. I have um, 4 light cones here. And of course, one of them is free to play one. I didn't go too much on the limited light cone banner. I think it's not uh, not many people care too much about it this early on in the game. Generally, in gacha games, weapons usually come later on uh, in the lifespan of the game's life when people have more or less the characters they want, which is why I focus more on characters first. Uh, that is my uh, strategy, uh, at least how I spend the money. Other than that, I have a lot of resources stashed up for the future characters like Luota and Yukong. Which is why I have 115 of this. I have character materials. I farmed out a bit of credits as well uh, already. Not enough, maybe. Uh, maybe I need more. But I think I have them pretty well prepared. If you guys are interested maybe in like the upcoming characters that I pre-farm like Luota and Yukong, check out this other video which I talk about it real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to be releasing like day one guide videos on build guides for both of the characters as well. So you guys can stay tuned for that on the channel as well. Tons coming your way. So that's the first part. I think where most of the, the general money went or, or burning resources just for resources because the faster I get my characters build up means I can create more content for you guys and anyone for example some of you were even asking like when you pair sample with this character how does it work some interactions how about Su Sang and another character or maybe Mark 7 versus another character what are the combos and stuff like that I was able to test a lot of these stuff for you guys uh, especially in the build guide videos where I go very in-depth in all these characters which I actually test out rather than just like talking about it theoretically I think that is pretty pretty important as well so if you guys are ever interested in a new character comes out and you want to know how to build that character versus like, other characters in the game uh, you can always check back on the channel we will definitely have well, well resourced to help you as well well equipped to give you opinions or at least even if I can't give you an opinion on the spot I can test it out for you as well if you guys are interested in it. so that's my value add I think the second part of this video then comes uh, which is where most of the money actually went is to get the limited characters and I actually spent quite a bit of money on Zealer I think almost 50% just went into E6 Zealer alone I was very unlucky I missed a lot of 50-50s I'm never lucky at gacha games for some reason but still I play it I create content for you guys to me spending this money is, is more of just giving back to the community because I think that the value I create in totality like out of all the million plus views that I've gotten since Honkai Star Wars has been released I think the value that I created is worth more than this like $5,000 that I had to spend so net net I think I created more value in the world than I actually spent in, so I do think it's worth it in totality as well. I also am giving back more uh, content as well for my sub channel. If you guys haven't subbed to their secondary channel, which I'll be doing giveaways as well as account reviews that you guys can sign up for in Discord or leave in the comment below if you are interested. Uh, I'll definitely be interested to do something like this but maybe more in-depth specific for you because I can't give general advice to everyone. Uh, you'll be much more helpful if I can give you like you specific advice where I can tell you exactly where you can go at least like doing some of the direction pointing so you can decide where you want to, to take your account to. I think if you find that really helpful and you're interested, uh, join our Discord or leave a comment below. Or you can even follow me on Twitter and give me a tweet with some of the graphics maybe of your snapshot of your account. That'll be really helpful as well for me to follow up. Uh, but yeah, uh, so majority of my, my money went to spend on Zila. I also got her uh, light code in the night. So that was like $2,000, $2,500 thereabouts already just on Zila alone. Other than that, I pulled for uh, Ding Yuan, I pulled for Silver Wolf, and I got Silver Wolf at E1. Um, I just think that this one, I think, was an accident. I wanted to get more uh, four star Eidolons, and I got her very, very early. Uh, the word accident is always hilarious because no one gets a five star by accident, it's always you are building pity, and that is something that no one should ever do. For me, I didn't mind even if I got E1 early, in my opinion, because it, this is a very strong Eidolon. But it does mean that my Luota is going to cost a little bit more, so more money has to be spent to get Luota as well, as we'll be doing day one guides on him too on the channel. Uh, if you, Some of you quicker ones, because uh, I'm moving through this quite fast, might notice that I'm not pulling for their light cones here. I don't have, for example, Zingyuan's light cone, which I think is far more value than uh, Zealer's light cone. But it'll be funny if I had her at E6 without the, her light cone, whereas I pulled for this one as well. Uh, just, it was just hilarious if I did it, if I did it the other way around. And personally, my own bias is I don't really like Ting Yuan as much. 
Uh, he's more or less benched right now, as you can see, his crit rate, crit damage is not really too fantastic. I don't really like playing this character, to be really honest, and that's just my based opinion. I rather uh, Kafka a lot more, so I'm definitely waiting for that character to come out to play in another team, which I've already done on a channel like Zealer as well as Kafka team. I think that's going to be pretty interesting. Other than that, of course, DOT teams in future too, but that's for another video. Uh, Silver Wolf, I still play her quite a bit. I build her more as like a supportive character rather than a DPS. I have tons of character to build, so I don't have the resources to pump into this character yet. So I, I would say that's where a bulk of my money went. Other than that, of course, is to get uh, characters like uh, four star characters, for example, like uh, I try to get as much of them up to E6 as well, so I can create uh, as much content as I can. Because some of their E6s are very, very important. And some of the build guide videos, as you've seen on the channel, already takes into account like Mark 7 and the E6. I have Natasha at E6 as well uh, to create content for you guys. Some characters, like I don't have E6, I'll just be moving past them. E6 here. Some of them E5, like Asta. I think Susang is also E5. Danheng is E6. Uh, Ting Chue is like E3. Uh, Serval is E6. I've done comparisons between Serval as Ting Yuan at E6. So that's how I like utilize whatever I spend on the game to get, create content for you guys as well. Ireland's also E6. Has, have a video for him versus like, Ting Yuan already. Herta is E5. Hope is E6. Uh, probably be doing one interesting one with like Herta with other fire DPSs in future. Uh, Hin Hin might be quite interesting to see as well. But we'll see how that goes too. So that's pretty much my overall account. And uh, I once again I want to emphasize that a uh, five thousand dollars can be can feed like a, a person if you are budget conscious like just buying food for more than a year maybe in some expensive cities and in some more affordable cities you can go even more. I don't recommend anyone do this. As mentioned, this is my job. I'm doing it for content, and I highly recommend you not do it uh, as well. If you are a young person, you're just starting out, or maybe you're not earning your own money at all. It's not cool to spend money on games. I don't think it's a good idea and I think content creators are responsible for spreading the right kind of information instead of just saying that spending money is fun, is flashy, is very nice to see. I don't think so. It's just my job. And if you like such content that is very, very direct, honest and straightforward and straight to the point too, do like and subscribe for more of such future content and check out these two other videos I've prepared for you, which I think you might be interested in as well. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.